Welcome back. Now we're up and running. To demonstrate how the direct bake to Revit works, I'll generate a couple of grids and levels within Grasshopper of some defined Rhino geometry. I've opened Rhino within Revit by clicking on the Rhino button within the Add-ins tab. I can then click on Rhino to open up the Rhino window. I can start to create Rhino geometry within Rhino and start to use it as I normally would if I was just using it outside of Revit. I will just open a file which has a couple of vertical and horizontal curves which I would like to generate grids from. It is worth noting that you can toggle whether to preview Rhino geometry within Revit. You can also set Grasshopper preview geometry within Revit by toggling the off wireframe or shaded buttons. If I now open Grasshopper, I've got a pretty simple script here which generates a set of grids and levels using the grids and levels components from the Geometry Gym Revit plugin. I've referenced the curves from Rhino into these, cur into these curve components and use the Geometry Gym components to generate the grids and levels. The Geometry Gym tab is the same as if you were using Grasshopper normally outside of Revit. However, as explained previously, you'll notice that there is now a Bake to Revit component. This Bake to Revit component allows you to periodically bake geometry from Grasshopper straight to Revit rather than having to save and import as in the past. If I execute the Bake to Revit by double clicking the component, these grids and levels are generated in Revit. If I now move this curve in Rhino, the Revit preview updates, demonstrating that the Rhino and Grasshopper gridline geometry has been updated from what is defined in the Revit model. If I bake to Revit again, these grids and levels will then update. One way of controlling Revit geometry using Rhino is to lock it to these grids and levels. You can start to generate framing in Revit which is based on or aligned to these grids and levels and then use these Rhino curves to quickly manipulate the structure in Revit. Say you create a couple of columns and beams using these grid lines. When I then go to update those reference curves again in Rhino, the objects will move in line with these grids and levels. In the next video, we'll look at generating a curtain wall facade and its geometry within Grasshopper and back into Revit.